boy. I see they've raised the ante, $500. They must have killed another man. How could I kill all these hombres when I haven't even been around here? stolen for. You're so sure it's Billy the Kid. You swore you'd get him dead or alive. Well, my gun's jammed. Hey, you seem mighty anxious to get your old friend. I still say it's someone posing as Billy. And for the way you're acting, I think you know all about it. Hey, Marshal. You better go get some help. You're all the help I need. I think you swore in as a marshal just to get something on me. That's right. And I aim to prove you not only frame Billy to outlaw him, but you know more about those Lincoln County killings than you're willing to admit. And that hombre might help me prove it. All right, if that's what you want. Now, we got him trapped. Let's go get him. You go up around that way and I'll go up behind him. I thought you said your gun was jammed. Well, it's all right now. If I didn't know different, stranger, I'd think I was looking in a mirror. Maybe those reward posters have got us mixed up. It's Billy the Kid. You had everything fixed. What's the idea of trying to kill me? I couldn't help it. The marshal showed up at the wrong time. Now what about Billy the Kid? Everything's perfect. Go on. Hey, Carson! I got him! Close in! Was you that hombre was shooting at? What hombre are you talking about? Well, I was riding along here and I heard some shooting. I jumped off my horse, came down to see what was happening, and some hombre was shooting at somebody I couldn't see. I am up my gun plane, he hit me on the head and got away. That's a swell story, but you ain't getting away with it. You're wanted in Lincoln for a killing. What are you talking about? The man who was killed in the Lincoln Hotel. Jeff, I haven't been in Lincoln for four months. Maybe not, but we saw you jump out of that hotel window. We chased you all the way here. Now, wait a minute. Maybe he's telling the truth. If you're not the one we're after, Billy, what are you doing around here? Fuzzy said work for me to meet him here. Said I was in plenty deep in Lincoln and that you were trying to clear me. I was. This looks kind of bad. Those clothes, that's the horse we were chasing. That's not my horse, Jeff. I was riding a paint. I tell you, that fellow was dressed just like me. He's the one you're after. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A marshal or no marshal, I'm sheriff of this county. And if you're two gonna have any social visits, he's gonna do it behind the bars. Come on, get going. Wait a minute, Billy.
Brother, you showed up just at the right time. But I always figured that slingshot would get us into trouble, not out of it. <laughs> that slingshot might have helped you a little bit, but you're in more trouble now than you ever were. What do you mean? Well, since that shooting down in Lincoln, there's been a half a dozen killings. And you're being blamed for every one of them. After what just happened, I think I know why. A number dressed like me just stole my horse and made a getaway. Dressed like you? Yeah. Now things do make sense. Listen, Fuzzy. You head back to Lincoln and get a hold of Dave Hendricks. Try and find out more about that man who was shot and why. Stick close to Dave until you hear from me. You're the boss. We'll never get him now. They'll be over the county line in half an hour. Yeah. Looks to me like you're the one ain't so anxious to catch him now. I didn't know county lines mattered to the United States Marshals. Don't worry. I'll get him. Yeah. I'm notifying every sheriff in the southwest to shoot him on sight. You might be interested to know that Billy the Kid has shot five more men while you've been away. Maybe. No, maybe about it. We've got him dead to rights, and the law's closing in on him fast. It won't be long now, Marshal. Three months ago, he was promised the government mail contract if he would build a road from West City to Pebble Creek and prove that a cross-country stage line was practical. However, it recently became apparent that someone didn't want this line to go through. After my father was mysteriously threatened with death unless he gave up the project, Mr. Leonard urged him to go to Fort Worth, El Paso, and Lincoln and ask for legal protection against the many obstacles that were being put in his way. I'm afraid something terrible has happened to him. Will you please help me? Ellen Gorham. So when did you get this? Today. It was forwarded to me from Washington. You know, this may be our first lead. Right. If he was her father, an investigation may turn up the men who wanted that stage line stopped. I may be able to clear Billy yet. You coming, Dave? Sure, at least still my client. I'm hey. convinced he's innocent. I'm going too. No, you better stay here. I'm expecting some correspondence, some very personal mail. Oh, you mean from Billy? Why, he'd have wrote me before this. He told me that... Say, listen, you two. If you know where Billy is and you're keeping the information from the law, you're letting yourselves in for some real trouble. When did you talk to Billy last? Well, Where'd I, you see him? I, uh, uh... Oh, shucks, Jeff. Uh, you see, uh, I see I... that slingshot, and I remember Billy's escape. You better keep that out of sight before Sheriff Black sees it. And you better keep that big mouth shut before I see a lot of other things, too. Come on, Dave. Okay, let's go. Slingshot, Sheriff Black. I hope I live to see Billy the Kid hang. We're not so sure he did it, Miss Ellen. Do you know anybody who'd want to kill your father? I only know somebody's been trying to stop the work on the stage line. Can't you send men down to see that the work goes through, Sheriff? This stage line is important to Lincoln County. 
Why, I'd have to swear in a hundred deputies, miss, to cover this whole country. I'll help all I can. I want to see you put this line through. That's very kind of you, Marshal, but I don't think we need your assistance. Selling is your only way out, my dear. There's not enough money to buy it. I'll finish the road so that the stage line can go through on the date agreed in the contract. But it isn't a woman's job. I'll make it a woman's job. Well, I guess I'll be riding along. I hope you put it over. I'll ride away with you, sir. When does the line have to make its first run? Six weeks from yesterday. The assistant postmaster's coming from Washington for it. Well, I'll be riding this way right often, I think, or... I hope so. I'll be needing all the help I can get. Riding north, Jeff? Oh, uh, yes. Well, goodbye, ma'am. Try not to worry. Thank you. tells me that Gorm was murdered in the Lincoln Hotel. Well, that shouldn't surprise you. Why not? You arranged for him to go to Lincoln to get him out of the way. You didn't tell me you intended to kill him. Billy the Kid killed him. Yeah, and it's tough that he escaped. No, it's the best thing that could have happened. Sheriff, you made a mistake when you turned the law loose on the kid. Well, I thought we ought to grab him before he does any damage. I think he's wise. Don't worry about that. Just remember this, as long as he's footloose and fancy free, we're set and pretty. Yeah, if he don't catch up with us. He won't. Why hasn't the road work been slowed up? I'm doing the best I can. Well, your best isn't good enough. That Gorham stage line's got to be stopped. If it isn't, the steamship company loses the government mail contract and we lose $100,000. She's determined to go on. No wonder you haven't done the thing I told you to do. Why hasn't her men been in here instead of working their heads off pushing the road? They're loyal to her. I can't do a thing without letting that girl get wise. All right, then I'll send a man down from Frisco who can. Be on the lookout for Ab Jenkins. He's your new foreman. We already have a foreman. You had a foreman. But he took a walk while you were busy holding an inquest with Miss Gorham. Are you crazy, Williams? How do you think we're going to get away with all this? Billy the Kid is sure cutting up with that gun of his, ain't he, Buck? He sure is. Now, what reason would he have for robbing and killing a poor old road construction farmer. I wonder. de aquella roca hay un campamento de vagabundos. Vamos a verlos. Vamos, jefe. al fin del rastro, José. Yo creo que sí, jefe. Eh, hey, go away and let a man sleep. It's too late, señor. You are William Boney, eh? Boney? I never even heard of him. Well, that's a real nice name. I might even adopt it. You tried to make fun of Romero, eh? You're Billy the Kid. Claro que les. Nada más que se está haciendo tonto. Vamos a aprenderlo ahora mismo. No, déjalo. Quiero que hable, porque ya sabes que el pez muere por su propia boca. Bueno. Billy the Kid tiene una cicatriz en la muñeca izquierda. He said the left wrist, Jose. What's the matter? Can't you understand Spanish? 
Ah, oh, senor, you understand Spanish. I didn't know that. There's a lot of things you don't know. Perhaps. But you cannot try to make bluff with me. Come on. Que señor? Ya veremos. Bueno. Vamos. What do they want me here in Lordsburg for? Am I supposed to have killed somebody here, too? You are wanted in many places, senor. Yeah, I get around, don't I? I'm wanted from Maine to California, and I've never been out of the Southwest. Si, senor. But this is very special. Where did you send your friend, Jose? Not far. But just relax. Till the water should get plenty hot. What are you gonna do, boil me? You shall see. Look. For me? Si, senor. Which is gracious. I see it's against your principles to hang a man before he cleans up. Well, I feel the same way about it. Stand down there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand Have a drink, senor? No, thanks. Suppose you stop being so mysterious to me. Go and tell me who you are. Quien sabe? Quien sabe? Quien sabe? All right, Kian Savi. What's this all about? What does it mean? Hold it. Hmm. Huh. Very clever, senor. What do you do now? You'll find out. Get over there. Tell him to come in. Adelante. Come in. Somebody else, buddy. Are you all right? <laughs> Dave, Billy. Say, what is this? What are you doing here? Meet Miguel Romero, the best range detective on the border. Range detective, huh? You sure had me going for a while, Romero. <laughs> Say, we've been looking for you for weeks. I've got a line on that man that was killed at the Lincoln Hotel. You have? Who was he? His name was George Gorham. Now, he and his and dog... Perdón, señores. It is getting daylight outside. I think we better make the talk while we ride. The main camp is about 20 miles south. The girl lives at a ranch house a mile or so this side. Good. Romero, you go with Dave and keep your eyes open. Si, senor. Bring me word if anything develops. Why do you come with me? But where will you be hiding? There are wooded mountains back of the Gorham Ranch. I saw a trail leading up. We'll be camped somewhere along that trail. Take care of yourself, boys. We've been. So long, Dave. Adios. 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 Three days gone and nothing's happened. I'm getting tired sitting around here. Fuzzy, I've got to find some way to get in there and talk to that girl. You sound like you've been eating local weed. What in tarnation do you want to do that for? I've explained to you ten times, and I'm doggone if I'm going to do it again. Shut up. It's Romero. The sheriff is sending a man named Jenkins to work for the girl with a note from the Senor Williams to Senor Leonard. When's he coming? Right now, tonight. I was only a few miles ahead of him.
This is Ab Jenkins, your new foreman. He'll take orders from you, and you can trust him to do the job right. Sign Williams. Take him to the shack and keep him there. From now on, I'm Ab Jenkins. It is one big chance you're taking, amigo. It's worth it, Ken Sally. Romero, let's get him out of here before somebody shows up. Si, vamos. A llevarlo. Esconderlo al condenado este. that you understand what your work will be here? Yeah, sure. I think we'd better have a little talk before you meet my ward, Miss Allen. She's a very stubborn young woman, but you'll take your orders for me. Hi, Sally. Oh, Ellen, I... Who is this? Ab Jenkins, our, uh, that is your new foreman. I still have the right to hire my own workmen, and I don't conduct business in the middle of the night. Well, I'm sorry, miss, but you see, I was just following instructions. Sheriff Black sent me down here, and I thought you expected me. No, I didn't, but I appreciate the sheriff's help. I'm sorry. You can start work tomorrow. You'll find a spare bunk in the bunkhouse. I'll talk to you the first thing in the morning. That's fine, miss. to get a drink. My men don't drink on the job. Pick up that shovel and get back to work. Say, you can't stop me from getting a drink. Now get out of here. You're fired. Any of the rest of you men want a drink, go and get it. But don't come back. I figure we ought to be at the bluffs in a day or so. But Williams sent you here to slow up the work. At the rate you're going, that road will be finished before the contract date. Listen, Leonard. William told me to handle this job my own way. And that's the way I'm going to do it or not at all. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, maybe. But Williams put liquor and gambling in that cantina to keep the men away from work. You won't let them go near the place. Of course I won't. If I did, that girl gets get suspicious. I'm going to wait until we've only got a mile or so to go. Then I'll start things humming. By that time, it'll be too late for her to do anything about it. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. Hello, Miss Allen. I've just been down to look at the road. You've made great strides, Jenkins. Things are going along pretty well. Well, if, uh, if you folks will excuse me, I have some work to attend to. Sure. Say, by the way, do you happen to know a man named uh, Williams? Williams? There was a San Francisco banker by that name who once tried to buy the company for my father. Why? Oh, it's nothing important. I just wondered, that's all. Uh, uh, I figure if we could have about 50 more men for three days. Give up, do you, Jeff? I'm 
sorry about what happened. Never mind that. What are you doing here? I'm working for Ellen Gorham. I'm her new foreman, Ab Jenkins. Under whose orders? You've got a lot to explain, Billy. I tried that once before, and it didn't work. You don't trust me, Jeff. I want to trust you, but I don't know what to make of all this. If he does a convention, I'm on the level. Now we're getting someplace. This proves that Williams is behind Gorham's murder. Not only Williams, but Leonard and Sheriff Black. With this evidence, I've got enough to pick him up. That won't do me any good. Why not? The umbre that impersonated me and killed that man in Lincoln is still on the loose. I won't be in the clear until I get him. Maybe you're right. But you're taking too big a risk working here. How long do you figure you can get away with posing as Jenkins? I don't know. I'll have to take my chances on that. You've been taking too many chances. With every law officer in the country out gunning for you, it's only a question of time till they catch you. What then? I'll worry about that when it happens. I'm not going to let it happen. For your own protection, I'm taking you to jail. Are you crazy, Jeff? You might as well shoot me as to take me back to Lincoln. I'm not taking you to Lincoln. The jailer in Three Forks is a friend of mine. You'll be safe there. Now get on your horse. heard that the marshal took Billy the Kid to the Three Forks Jail. Good. Then Billy the Kid is still our alibi. When we need him, we'll turn him loose. You certainly think of everything. Yes, sir. My grandchildren will be telling how I held the worst bad man in the West in my own little corral. Ain't that something? Without being waylaid, ambushed, shot down, beat up. Wait a minute, Swindle, please, still hold it. Hold it. Just tell me what happened. What happened? And let them robbers get away, them black legs, them bush rangers, them skittle choppers, them skittle rivers. Just tell me what they look like, how they work. Maybe I can recognize all them. All right, all right. I was riding down the road peaceful like. When out jumped them two, those two, these two, vipers, renegades, hoodlums, black holy oh, stallions. I know what they are. Tell me, what did they look like? One was a big, short umbrella, and the other was a little tall fellow. Big, short, and a little tall. That's right, that's right, and all six of them had long gray beards. Six of them with long gray beards. Will you stop interrupting and let me tell you how they worked? All right, go ahead. Now, the big, short umbrella had a gun on me, and he was backing me up like this. No, uh, that ain't right. I thought you stand over here, and let me show you. Now, you're going to feel it better. Now, he was backing me up, see? He had a gun on me, see? And he was backing me up, backing me up. It was a big tree in back of me. I thought if I could jump up and grab on him, why, well, I could throw my boots in his face and make my getaway. Yeah, but if you'd done that, them other five, they'd have blasted you. Gosh, I never thought of that. I wouldn't even be here, would I? No. Say, who's telling this story? I'm here to make my getaway now. I'm not like it through, will you? All right, go ahead. Now he's got to go on me. He's backing me up. He's backing me up. He had me backing up. Backing up. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a rock. 
And I thought if I could stoop down and pick up that rock as I'm traveling. I know, but if them other five, they would have got you certain. Will you hush up till I get through or I won't tell you nothing? Then where'd you be? Well, go ahead. I guess I got to investigate. Go on. Well, now, where was it? Oh, you was by the rock. Oh, yeah, the rock. He has got me. He's backing me up, see? Backing me up. And I thought if I could reach down and pick up that rock and find it. For a while, I thought you had gone crazy. I got a horse for you outside. Good. Hey, are we going back to Gorham's? Not just yet. But Miss Ellen's a swell girl, and we can't let her down now. I'm not letting anybody down, Fuzzy. But I pushed that road work to force William's hand. I thought sure he'd make a move before this. Well, maybe he ain't in these parts and don't know nothing about it. That's what we're going to find out. Come on. Where? I want you to go to the cabin where Romero has Jenkins. Tell Romero to watch Jeff. And then you get the horses, and I'll tell you where to meet him. Right. Cars. You haven't got any, have you? Nope. Besides, I'm no good at holding cards in my mouth. Hey. Do your wrists get sore when they're tied up like that? Yeah. How'd you like your hands tied up for hours? Well, if it was me, I'd be thinking about how I'm going to get out of it. Kid's toy, ain't it? Toy? <laughs> Better than a six gun any day in the week. Yeah? I notice you hang on to your shooting iron, though. Yeah. But between you and me, it ain't loaded. I never put anything in it unless I'm in a hot spot. You know what? I'd like to try that thing. Maybe I can give you a little competition. Well, I'd like a little competition, but if I untied you, you'd try to get away. No, no, I won't. We're on it. Maybe you're afraid. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the country can beat me with one of those things. Now remember, on your word of honor. One game I can beat. Yeah, if nobody's watching you. Say, it's about time you showed up. What do you mean rushing the road work and keeping the men out of this cantina? I haven't even been near the road. What? The night I arrived at the ranch, three men waylaid me before I got into the house. Then who's the foreman they got working? I don't know. This is a fine mess. They're probably lawmen. They didn't act like it. I'll go get them. Never mind. Wait a minute. We'll find out what Leonard knows. He's due here any minute.
Keep your eyes open, Spike. Where have you been? I've been trying to find Jenkins for you. You've been wasting your time. How come? Leonard, meet Ab Jenkins. A Ab Jenkins? Well, who, who's the man working for me? Never mind him. He'll be taken care of. What about the girl? I've been trying to get her to sell. We're through trying. We'll get rid of this foreman and deal her the same hand we dealt her father. Nothing doing. I don't care what you've got on me, Williams. I won't be a party to murder, alibi or no alibi. And that's fine. I'm afraid he isn't useful anymore. Wait a minute. Brother, the kid is still in jail. He won't be. I'll have the sheriff turn him loose. Go change your clothes, Buck. He was Billy the Kid. Uncle Leonard must have discovered it and threatened to turn him over to the law. Billy shot him to prevent it. No, Ellen. That's what the real killer wanted us to think. But this poster... A killer doesn't leave a calling card. I scared him off. He didn't have time to take it. You're wrong, dear. But he wrote a pinto. You said Billy writes one. That's true, but not lately. 
This time I'm going to prove Billy's innocent. I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're riding the three forks. Good night. Good night. Good thing I happened along. This man might have starved to death. This is one time you overstepped your authority, Marshal. I'm sorry, Jeff. The kid made his getaway. I thought you said... Well, I was sure Billy'd be safe under lock and key. Uh, you'll be looking for a new job when the government hears of this. Do you know where I can reach Mr. Williams, Sheriff? Why, sure. Me and him is just like... Well, that is, I uh, saw him last night at the cantina. What do you want Williams for? I'm going to sell. There's nothing else I can do. If you see Mr. Williams, please tell him to come to the ranch at about 4 o'clock. I sure will. But, Ellen, the road's so near finished, I hate to see you quit now. Well, I guess I'll be running along. Good day. So long, Sheriff. Nuevo, Romero. Mucho. We have no time to lose, senor. Well, what's up? Uh, Fosse, where is he? He's washing things at the cantina. We must pick him up. We must go to the rancho at once. Williams is buying the stage line. Tell me more about it on the way over there. Muy bien. at the cantina. Into, what does he talk about? It's my horse. The one that was stolen from me. Oh, the horse he can wait. It's more important we get to the rancho. Wait a minute. Things are beginning to add up. Maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. Come on. Bueno, vamos. Bueno. You were right, Fuzzy. This is Toby. That's what I thought. I hope the plan she works. So do I. Now, you know what to do, Romero. Si, senor. Fuzzy, you better get out of here. is a very wise one, Miss Gorham. 
Under the circumstances, I think so. Now listen, Williams, I don't We've think... We've been all over that. No sense in going into it again. Sign right here, Miss Gorham, please. Hold it. Sorry to break up your little meeting, but spoiling folks' fun is sort of a habit of mine. Have you signed that yet? No, I haven't. You're butting into something that doesn't concern you. Before we're finished, you'll find out this concerns me quite a lot. Are you two going to let this man get away with this? Well, I don't know about the sheriff, but personally, I'm inclined to string along with Billy. Thanks, Jeff. Get over there. Put your hands down. And remember, I'll be right behind this door. If one of you makes a move or talks out of turn, you're liable to be sorry. Where's the hombre that stole my horse? Get out of here. We're busy. What horse are you talking about? Well, that horse out there. You mean that Pinto? Yeah. Get out of here, Buck. You're drunk. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. Are you sure that horse is yours? Well, I don't know my own horse. That's very interesting. It certainly is. Because that's the horse the man rode who killed my uncle. Now, wait a minute. You can't prove that. Maybe I can. Yeah? What? You forget pretty easy, don't you? You made one mistake, mister. When you changed those clothes, you should have changed horses, too. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Jeff, this is the umber you and the sheriff were chasing that day in the pass. He's the one you thought was me. You haven't got anything on me. We've got enough on you to hang you. We know you've been posing as Billy the Kid and committing these murders. Who are you taking your orders from? Who else is in this with you? You better start talking, mister. And you better talk fast. Oh. William C. Now we'll resume our business. I refuse to sign anything. To be truthful, it doesn't make any difference to me whether you sign or not. Because that road will never be finished anyhow. You see, Miss Gorham, I always protect myself. I have a man stationed at Mountain Point right now with orders to blow your road sky high if I'm not there with that contract by 3 o'clock. That's exactly 15 minutes from now. It'll take six months to clear away the mess. So you see, your contract won't be worth the paper it's written on. Hey, Jeff. I'm getting nervous. You better run these birds down the jug. I'm going to find out what happened to Billy. And by the way, you better resign that marshal's job. We might have to run fast. All right, Fuzzy. Come on, you two. Let's go. Thank you. 
Doggone, I'm late again. What'd you do with the sheriff and Williams? Just got him. He's on his way to the who's gal. Well, what do we do now? We get all the men we can and finish that road. We haven't got much time, Fuzzy. You'd never get the road finished on time. Without the help of the boys, it never would have been. We had a lot of fun. And a lot of hard work. The contractor all right, Dave? Yes, it's airtight. And it's air for the government and Ellen, too. That's fine. Jeff, now that everything's settled, we better drift along. Going any place? Oh, I guess we'll just follow the sun. I thought so. How would you like to help me run the stage line? Are you serious? Never more serious in my life. What do you say, Jeff? Well, this is a chance we've been waiting for for months. I'm for it. So am I. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Hey, fellas! There's an army of sheriffs and marshals moving up the road of Gravis. We gotta move and move fast! Well, here we go again. Goodbye, Ellen. I'll get in touch with you, Dave. I'm choked, I am. <laughs> Don't leave me in here. I'll get away. The sheriffs are coming. You're always dick in your neck out, fuzzy. 